hey y'all what's good so i'm back at it again with another tutorial video today i will be showing y'all my soft lock tutorial now i don't really know the proper way to do soft locks i have self-taught myself on how can i create the soft locks to look as natural as possible another thing is i don't like that people are doing butterfly locks at the beginning of their soft locks and then there's a soft lock at the end like you know what i'm saying like why are we doing that like why are we creating texture at the top of the lock but not creating the texture throughout the whole soft lock so i feel like if you're gonna do soft locks then you need to try to make the hair that you're wrapping around that soft lock as natural as possible and that's what i'm doing with my client um today so i'm just going to show y'all how i basically do my soft locks and also i don't like that um you know how you crochet the soft lock up there at the top of the scalp and then you wrapping hair on top there's too much tension so if it's a protective style, it's supposed to protect the hair, right? So just watch my video. If you have any questions, just um, comment below. And I'm going to be sure that I put everything in the description below as well that I use. But I did use the Bobby Balls 36 inch hair. Um, I'm also going to make sure I put it in the video as well. But right now, I'm just showing y'all that i mean i'm just showing y'all how i'm parting excuse me i'm showing y'all how i'm parting my client's hair so i gave her some natural parts now my natural parts are not neat at all if they want neat parts then they have to tell me but if they don't tell me that they want neat parts i just kind of freestyle and when it comes to locks you want your parts to look natural you don't have to be neat because when it's more natural then the locks just fall perfectly
Yes, girl. Yeah.